Going to Egypt, baby! Wow, you guys, we're inside of a pyramid right now. Look who we bumped into! Wanda is on the camel. We're about to head to our Nile cruise. I feel like I'm like excavating things. So we have the whole first class to ourselves today. Great start to Egypt. Hi, little baby. Gorgeous souls and welcome back to another vlog. It's our very first morning in a brand new country. We are currently in Cairo, Egypt. I've been manifesting coming to Egypt since the fourth grade. I will never forget being in the schoolyard with my best friend while all the kids are playing. Me and her, her name is Parisa, checked out every single book that we possibly could on ancient Egypt. And we are literally looking up what every single hieroglyphic means inside of the pyramid because we are set to become archaeologists discovering uncovered territories of ancient Egypt. I remember looking at her and saying, Pinky promised that one day we're going to go to Egypt and we're going to do this. And of course, life did not show up in exactly that way. I have no interest in being an archaeologist, but I am so excited to be here. We're here with Londa, who is the COO of our company, Manifestation Babe. She came here for the first time when she was 18 years old and lived here on and off for about 10 years. She speaks fluent Arabic. We told her we have to one day go to Egypt together and we want you to show us around and give us the tour and all that stuff. Okay, let's get some breakfast. Actually, do you mind if I put your nose real quick? No, how dare you? Please. Let's go have fun. Let's go explore Egypt. But first, let me show you our view. All right, we got our little teeny tiny balcony. Welcome to Cairo, everybody. Literally standing on the Nile River. The Nile River. Good morning. Good morning. Why am I gonna hate this? This giant camera like this? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome oh, to well, our vlog, so Londa. You look great, dude. What are you worried about? You look awesome right now. I feel so you look hot. hot. I wanna cry. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think? That was really cool. It's not as many signs as I expected in like English, you know, like this is this, this is that, but nevertheless, it's cool. King Tut's exhibit is the only one that we couldn't film, and it was literally, you guys, 110 kilograms of gold. Like real gold is the tomb. Everything is in perfect condition almost. It's like hard to imagine. That was from the time of 1300 BC. I cannot wait to see like the actual ancient sites where they found all these things and to visualize the life that they lived in these places. I'm just so excited. I'm excited for the Valley of the Kings. I know. I'm most excited about that. Yeah, Abba me too. Symbol. Yeah, Nava Symbol. Yeah. Have you been to this restaurant before? <laughs> Wanda is so uncomfortable with the it, camera. Eventually, like it's so it'll just be like talking to me, you yeah, know? You can just look at me. Mm -hmm. I think I do better with the podcast because the podcast is like less intrusive. <laughs> Why is it intrusive? Why is it intrusive? There's like a camera this big point your head. <laughs> Does anyone see a camera? Because I don't. Where's the camera? Camera? No cameras. Mm. I'll practice. <laughs> Okay, so we're going where, Londa, right now? Zemelik. Going to Zemelik. It's a neighborhood that Londa's taking us to. We just left a restaurant, and it's been like, what, 20 minutes now? It's been a minute. How far have we gone? Yeah, half a mile. But yeah, that's Cairo traffic, right? There's always traffic, but I don't know what is happening in this particular situation. I don't know if you guys can hear honking. Yup, there we go. <laughs> 
There we go. It's the Cairo musical. Oh my god. <laughs> if you walk in front of a car, you're getting run over here, huh? Not necessarily. I feel like it's a good solid game of chicken. stomping ground this building right which floor the second right on top of that Costa coffee right there pretty sick digs Wanda Good morning! This morning we are headed to the Great Pyramids of Giza and we are super excited about it. It's like a lifelong dream of hers and so we're headed to the Great Pyramids. See ya! This little cutie is the main attraction for me, dressed like a flowy prego goddess. friendly. First uh, experience in the pyramid. It is uh, very hot, very humid, very claustrophobic. There's a lot of people. You can't just suck in when like people are passing by. So I'm just like, oh, please don't squeeze me. Oh, you guys, we're inside of a pyramid right now. And it's a uh, trek. You okay? Yeah, just keep hitting my head. <laughs> It is a trek up here, being six months pregnant and all. I feel pretty accomplished. Oh, it's getting dark. I was gonna say he'd be miserable. I'm currently walking along the base of the Khufu Pyramid, and uh, Catherine is currently inside with Wanda. And then I'm gonna go inside myself. Big fuss about cameras. They really didn't want any cameras inside. Chaperone Brennan. Sweating and climbing through tunnels a <laughs> lot. Oh my god. We made it. All this work. Tomb. It's a tomb. What happened in there? We can't speak about it. Wow. We can't speak about it. <laughs> wow. Okay, so basically what you're saying is that you left me outside and then you won't tell me what happened in there. It is. Okay, so you go in and you're like... <laughs> Yeah, and then you have to turn like yeah. this. And people are coming in and out on the same exact path. And That's then, a lot. That's a yeah. lot. Well, you know what? It was pretty cool to look at outside. Wanda's getting the camel treatment over here. I don't know what exactly she's doing right now. She's leading the camel. <laughs> what is she doing? Wanda is on the camel. Residing alongside the Sphinx, the great mysterious mythical creature. She's funny. What are we going to do right now? We're meeting with Tima. 
Adam B. We are. From Egypt. We are meeting. Lana, what the oh, f are you doing? Get in frame. Guess. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Jesus, trying we're to. We're meeting Marina, Rana, and Zainab. Going to the bazaar, and then we're gonna have iftar together, which is the meal they have during Ramadan when they break the fast. And quickly refresh me. Rana has worked with us, Londa, for three years. Right. Three years. And and Zainab would be number two. <laughs> <and> she, <laughs> she would be. Hey! Okay, so anyway, they are core members of our team. We love Team Egypt and we're excited to finally meet them. It's crazy that yes. we've been remote and mobile for so long, but haven't actually met these people outside of Zoom. And so really excited to go give them a hug and put a name to a face. Brennan has an estimate, Rana, if you're watching this, that you're six feet tall, so. I said Rana's six feet and Marin is five feet. And Four feet. No, I didn't say that, you're lying. No, I'm just saying it'd be crazy if the people that you know on Zoom are like enormous or super small. <laughs> Okay, so we just made it to the bazaar here in Egypt, and look who we bumped into! Ah! Yeah, baby! Lana's buying kebab chips. Different. Yummy. How are we doing with the chaos? The best party you ever. <laughs> But I didn't think you would like come in as I'm shaving my armpits. But that's okay. Well, Catherine's shaving her pits. She's <laughs> here in her glory. You know, gotta be Nefertiti Cleopatra. Because we about to go to the Valley of the Kings. The Valley of the Queens. We about to go down the Nile. Okay, you got a packing to do. Girl, bye. Bye. Good morning from Luxor, Egypt. We're about to check out of the hotel and head to our Nile cruise for the next four nights. I'm used to Luxor in Las Vegas. I never in my whole life knew that Luxor is an actual place in the world. And here we are in Egypt, baby. Hello, Londa. Oh no. How was your vlogging? Oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's my birthday. Pay attention to me. Is that yeah, how you pay girls attention do it? To Is him. that how you girls do it? What? Oh, snack a shot. Okay. Oh, also, can you show us your tat? This is Masa Romadonia. Masa Romadonia. Masa Romadonia yeah, means mean? Egypt, mother of the world. And what do we have on here? Cairo, tower, pyramids, citadel, Egyptian flag. So it's all around Cairo, right? Yeah, and this is like a very iconic graffiti image. Sick tat, girl. Cool. Okay. Okay, butta. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on the cruisy. Cute. <laughs> this is Londa's room. So cute. Oh, oh my god, I'm obsessed. This is fing epic. This is where we're gonna do our group hangouts. Yeah, we are. Here's the bedroom. It's like a combination of New Year's Eve and a pinata party. This is really nice. Yeah, they, they listen to me. This is really cute. I like it a lot. It's a little you. surprise. It's you know? really sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, we just got to the restaurant for lunch. We haven't left Luxor yet, but I just want to show you how we're literally in the river now. There's people boarding. We're the first to lunch. Can we're gonna eat some food. Yeah. <laughs> London, she's a vlog mode. See, I told you, you're gonna get used to it. Latin potatoes, chicken roll gravy, which looks actually delicious. Butta, butta. God. <laughs> He's a monster. <laughs> the disappearance of the sun, it's the death of the sun. Oh. And the next morning, rebirth of a sun. <laughs> you gonna?
done, her discipline, and also her life achievement. So this is a promise by a long time, long life. in Luxor, Egypt. We saw two temples today. We enter the temple, right? They're huge. And our guide, she was really nice because Brenda and I do our photos and our vlogs and things like that. So she would like patiently wait. What cracked me up so much is like most of the stories that she shared with like the pharaohs and stuff. They're just like making up stories about their life so that they appear to be godlike, like, amazing and godlike. And then they try to one up each other. Literally one writes the story of why they're connected to the gods then the next one comes and says no i'm bigger and better so he builds temples around that temple then the next one comes and builds another big thing around it if we went without a guide we wouldn't have known any of, any that. of that like she was reading the hieroglyphics i'm like yeah. where were you when i was in the fourth grade yeah. trying to learn these things myself this girl did good man i thought you were gonna be more tired it was hot we didn't drink that much water. Right we're gonna drink more water as soon as we're done with this. And tonight, it's time to party like it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Seriously? right now. This whole place is one of the most well-preserved temples in Egypt because it was literally under sand until like 1870. There's certain things here that are just in almost perfect condition and it's made for Horus, who is the falcon god. They also have a boat here, so this is really funny. They put God into like these little tiny boats. I'm only using quotations because they're this is how they're imagining God. So they take them up and down the Nile and like two different temples every single Day, so they have like the best replica apparently of this boat. It is tiny, so I'm looking at Londo and Brennan and I'm like, are they imagining God to be this big? Contained in this little box on this boat. There's so much focus on the afterlife and making sure that the afterlife is guaranteed and promised by creating these tombs. And the better they are, the better of a guarantee of afterlife that there is. It's so interesting, I love the belief system. Look at 
yelling, London. They're yelling at each other. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Kamomba. There are crocodiles there. Mummies. Crocodile mummies. We have our Egyptian guide here, but also I went on TikTok and I was looking up some ancient Egyptian stuff. And the very first TikTok I saw were these mummified crocodiles. And it took me a second to realize that that's one of the places that we're stopping at, AKA tonight. But it's gonna be like dark and probably not beautiful. Guide, what's the probability of mosquitoes in the Nile River? Probably significant. Okay. Are you changing? Yeah. Oh, Get out of here. Probably don't want to film here. that. You know what I want to see that on YouTube? Except for all the f***ing people that ask on your DMs about what my ass workout is. People ask you what your ass workout is? People ask you what my ass workout is. <laughs> Wait, what? Like you and your ass? People ask in your DMs, yes. you, Catherine Zenkina, what her husband does for squats. <laughs> Cause you got a little booty. He has a bubble butt. You got an apple bottom. Crocky, what have we here? It's an influencer in the wild. You can still see her butt. He tried to hide and his butt was just sticking out. Okay, so it looks like that's the temple that we're gonna go see super quick before dinner. Definitely shooting you. Definitely shooting you. Okay, bye. You cannot walk out of my frame. Thank you. Hi. Hi. We made it to Elvis Ball, which yes. is Londa's must-see attraction here. So we took a flight totally out of the way. But what's funny is that when we landed, they told us that our luggage didn't fly with us. And we had a total meltdown for like three seconds. And that was the exact adrenaline rush that we needed to wake up because we woke up at 4 a.m. for that. What does that even mean? How do you relocate this? You guys can't even see how big it is. Hold on, first scale. Bye. Hi! <laughs> bye! <laughs> can we just talk about the fact that we left Aswan this morning, but we said bye to our guide yesterday, our guide Mona. And she just comes over and says hi to us. <laughs> okay, so the second statue is uh, laying in front of the statue. It broke off after an earthquake shortly after they completed it. Oh, it is laying there. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that's a brutal amount of work to do to have an earthquake and f it up. Wild. No, seriously, wild. Also, baby boy, if you're watching this, you were once here. Love you. Mm. 
Catherine, can you be a weather woman and point with the Yeah, there you go. Okay, we started in Cairo, everybody. We flew to Luxor. Oh my god, Luxor, wow, it's a long way. And then we got on a boat, people, and we spent a night in Esna, went to Edfu, went to Komogo, oh. we went to Aswan, and then we flew to Abu Sabul. Then we're gonna fly from Abu Sabul back to Aswan, back to Cairo, and over here to Jordana. By what time tonight? Yeah. And what time is it now? Well, we didn't do that whole trip today, but we did do Aswan, Abu Sabu, Abu Sabu, Aswan, Aswan, Cairo, Cairo, Cairo. You guys enjoying Cabana life? Brennan got a shisha. Finally. We got drinks. We got fruit. We got lemonade. We got a it's Carlton spread right there. Got Londa. Got sunny lounge space. We got the beach. Welcome back. So we were supposed to spend five nights here in Rixos. Three things. We've eaten their food and had epic displacements in our systems. I thought I was going into preterm labor in the middle of the night because I ate something funky. It gave me severe stomach cramps. Londa went scuba diving and almost drowned. I just saw bubbles and then I saw a very bright light and then eventually brought me to the surface. What the f It was and the most epic thing that we've done this whole trip has been this. So come on, let me see you shake a butt and pregnant in bed too long. Is she a baby Egypt? Who's ready to go home? Eh? What are you ready for? Green juice. A f***ing juice. Salad. A salad. Literally, I've never eaten so much garbage food in my life. I know this is not a very flattering vlog for this hotel or brand. Don't come here. When we recommend a hotel brand, we mean it. How do you feel in general about the tail end of this experience? The Red Sea is beautiful. I feel sad that you didn't get a full experience of what the Red Sea is like. Don't feel sad. I do. We, gotta, I we gotta come like back. Colored your image of this area of, no. of Egypt. More importantly than this being a nope, so many amazing places we've stayed, so many places we've truly loved and like shout that for the rooftops. Meanwhile, we will continue to sit here and work and try to eat food that doesn't kill us. So why is it good luck to walk around this seven times? I don't know, I don't care. Keep going, keep going. Seven times, perfect. There you go, that's enough. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 